This Tampa neighborhood was dubbed the number one suburb in all of Florida. Niche.com released its list of the 2023 best suburbs of Florida, and we actually saw three Tampa suburbs make the top 10 list, but when it came down to the very best, that was West Chase. Now, I'm going to break down why West Chase topped this list and go over why I think you should consider this area if you're looking to relocate or invest. Let's get started. I'm Chris Johnson, your Tampa Bay Realtor, and we make videos on what it's like to live, relocate, and invest in the Tampa Bay area. So whether you're looking to make a move in 30 days or six months, just reach out to us as our contact information is below, and our team would love to hop on a call to further discuss your needs. So why West Chase? Let's pull it up on this map and show you where we're talking about. So we're basically looking right in the middle of downtown Tampa and the Gulf beaches. I mean, you really cannot beat this location. It gives you and your family the best of both worlds. Now, don't just take my word for it. Let's see what the local residents are saying, why they love to live here. We're going to look at some reviews from niche.com. Now, this one shows wonderful schools, friendly atmosphere, many restaurants in the village. Then you have this one, friendly atmosphere, great schools, good restaurants, and another one, good community, convenient to shops, restaurants, and grocery stores. These are all the common reviews that we hear from West Chase residents and why so many people we help want to live here as well. So you can see the common theme, great schools, lots to do, good location, family friendly. Now, speaking of lots to do, let's go ahead and talk about West Chase Town Center, which we heard some of the reviews reference. Now, this is an open air shopping center with numerous boutique shops, restaurants, and bars. They also hold many events like the first Friday for family fun. They've got an October and St. Patrick's Day celebration and even a farmer's market. Now, one of the favorite places to visit here is the new place called Noodle Doodle, which is literally set up as a cartoon book with a great variety of noodle bowl options, and it's also kid-friendly as well. Now, as you can see, West Chase schools all have an A rating as they are one of the area's best school districts. So if you're looking for an A rated school district, West Chase is another reason why this neighborhood should be on your radar. Now, due to fair housing rules, I cannot go in depth on schools but I can tell you and share you the information on the feedback that we're hearing from past clients, local residents, and give you a non-biased discussion on the schools. Now, if you want to further investigate and want more information, I highly suggest you visit school rating sites such as niche.com and greatschools.org. Now, let's dive a little into the real estate as this is probably the more important topic here. So here in this graph, I went back five years and prices really started to take off in West Chase around 2021, going into the early 2022s. And it relates to how the housing prices were during those years where we saw massive increases, appreciation in some areas up to 50%, which is astonishing to think about. Now, as far as how the pricing has been today, we see things have been pretty consistent whether you're in the second half of the year or going into the early of 2023. Now, we aren't really seeing the massive prices increasing, but we're also not seeing price reductions as well. So let's take a look and see the median close price here in West Chase in July was $780,000. So what I want to do is I want to give you some perspective on what you can get in this area from a range of $600,000 up to the $1 million range as well. So whenever you're watching this video, as of today, right now, West Chase has 19 active listings. And you can see here, there's many price variations. Other than this one that is $300,000, we're going to leave this one out. It's actually an auction home, so it's going to go well over this price point. But we really want to focus on the actual listed homes here. So you can see that we're pretty tight in that mid $500,000 range up to the million dollar range. The house that is at 525,000 is actually a two bedroom. So these lower 500 price points are gonna be your smaller option homes. So this median price point of $780,000 is pretty accurate to what we're gonna see going into August. So we're actually gonna use this one as an example. This home is listed right at 600,000. Uh, it's a four bedroom, three bathroom home. And we'll kind of give you an idea of what the 600,000 range can get you. Um, this home is already vacant tile floors throughout the home. Uh, it's got hardwood in the front dining area. Um, here you can have another area of the, uh, the side room. Um, also here looking into uh, the kitchen and living area, we've got uh, tile floors throughout here. 
Um, so nothing really exciting about this home. It does need updating. The carpet probably needs to get replaced here. Bathroom, showers, um, vanities all need to be updated as well. Uh, back area, it is back with covered. Short backyard, there's not a lot of space back here, but it is covered, but you can get a sense of what the 600,000 range is gonna get you here in the West Chase area. It's gonna be a home that is gonna need some type of updating. Now here I wanna show you something that's more along the lines of the median price point here in the West Chase area. So more along the, the $780,000 to the $820,000 range. Um, I skipped over into the kitchen. You can see the front elevation over on this side, but just showing you. So we've got a more updated kitchen, granite countertops, nicer cabinets. Uh, tile throughout here. Uh, this home does have a pool. It is also screened in. Uh, but just taking a look at the difference between this type of home, which is more of your median price point home in the Waste Chase area, compared to the last home that we saw. Um, so again, you're getting a pool with this home, so there is going to be a little bit of a premium with this house, but more updated, a little bit better of a maintained home. Um, this is more of your typical West Chase median price point home that will be right in the 800000 range. Now lastly, I want to show you something that's more in the 900 to $1 million plus range in West Chase, so this is going to be above the median price point. Um, clearly, you can see uh, newer, nicer elevation of the home. This is a two-story home. We're taking you right into the living room here. Open concept floor plan, dining room off to the left, kitchen out to the back, nice big slider windows, uh, doors right off to the back near the steps. You've got hardwood floors throughout here as well. Um, grand stairs going upstairs. you got a loft area. So here's the dining room. Just a little bit better features, more updated. As you can tell, this kitchen is a little bit more modern. You've got better fixtures over the island. Uh, nicer quality cabinets, nicer granite in the kitchen. So you've got just better finishes, which is going to give you what you're going to find in that 900 to 1 million plus range. Better quality finishes, better build, uh, better builders, larger home as well. Uh, so better quality type home for what you're getting for the nine to one million range. So overall, West Chase is a great community. You really need to drive around the area, get an actual grasp of the beauty of the area. There's lots of trees, lakes, walking paths. You've got the country club. Truly a very appealing and inviting neighborhood which sits atop the list of Tampa's best suburb and one of the more popular areas that our clients have reached out to us who want a suburban feel but still have all the entertainment within arm's reach with great rated schools. So thank you for sticking around for the whole video. Again, if you're looking to make a move into the Tampa area, relocate or even invest, the information is gonna be below. So definitely reach out to us and our team. We'd love to hop on a call with you, go over your exact situation and help you find a great home. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and as always, we'll catch you next week for our next video.